California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind the shade And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so dead Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing amazing. You are joining me on a wet Monday morning. I have not got the boys this morning. Um, I don't tend to have them on a Monday until I pick them up from school because they're at their dad's for the weekend. So slow start to the week for me today. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather actually. I can feel my throat is starting to get sore and I'm really hoping that it doesn't turn into anything bigger and it just goes away. I need to go out soon. I'm gonna have to get something, like some bits for tea and things. I'm not very organized with my food shopping this week. I've got a few baking things that I wanna do. We're gonna go into home bargains because it's like, what did my friend describe it as the other day? Like a warm hug going into home bargains, just having a look around. So yeah, that's the plan today. I would love it to stop raining because I want to walk Rudy as well, get the steps in, but I know for a fact if it's raining, the walk will last about 10 seconds with him. So yeah, it's not a happy day today. I'm gonna mention as well, whilst I think on, because I know it causes a lot of stress and issues for people in my comment section, the clock. <laughs> this clock drives people mad. It drives people in my life mad, like it drives family and friends mad. Um, no, there is no battery in it. I know the fact that it says the same time, it doesn't move, um, drives a lot of people crazy because they're like, obviously just tell me to put a battery in it. I don't even know if that clock works anymore. And do you know when you just get so used to something, you just never think about it? It's only when, I read my comments, I'm like, oh yeah, that clock. Like, it's almost like just a picture of a clock now. I don't even think about it. I never go to look at that to see what the time is. I've got one in the living room as well that doesn't have a battery in either, which is ridiculous, isn't it really? But it's a very old battered clock now. I think it's like changed colour from the sunshine as well, like the sun shining on it. I should put a battery in it, I know I should or I should get rid of it because I don't even like it that much anymore. Like that's <laughs> it's just there. Do you ever have things like that around your house? It's just there, it's just been there for years. But yeah, I really do apologize. It's not always three o'clock when I film <laughs> these little moments. I just always tend to stand here because I'll just put my camera on a, on a big candle and it's just about the right height and it just becomes a bit of a habit that I get into doing um, when I'm just gonna do a little intro or anything. I am sorry, it causes so much stress. Because <laughs> I, I know, I know it does. But yeah, I'm gonna get my big coat on by the looks of it because it's not gonna stop raining. The clouds are gray and head out and get all the bits that I need. I don't know what I'm gonna make for tea. <sighs> it's the dreaded decision every day. What to make for tea, what would all the kids eat? How can I get vegetables in them? Um, <laughs> it's just not enjoyable. It's not an enjoyable um, daily task. So I need to think of something to get for tea. Maybe when I go around the shops, it'll give me a little bit of inspiration, but let's get a big coat on and head out. <laughs>
shopping at Morrison's. back now like looking like a drowned rat and um, i'm going to show the things that i got from home bargains a little bit later but how good does this look I've got this for dylan caramel cookie collision oh my god it looks incredible it includes a kit kat chunky caramel bar and a bag of kit kat cookie gosh this is a bit of a tongue twister kit kat cookie dough mini eggs caramel flavored shell god i'm gonna have to keep this out of my way so that i don't eat it before easter yeah that was 10 pound though not cheap big old egg. I got that, I got some paninis, that's I'm just gonna do like a really simple tea, probably some paninis for later. Also at some point I'm gonna make a bread and butter hot cross bun pudding. But I'm gonna put this away first and then yeah we'll get some baking done. So this is my bread and butter hot cross bun pudding. This was delicious. I was really annoyed because my camera cut out at the end, um, but I did manage to show it all. So I got some hot cross buns. These were, I think they were like sticky toffee ones from Aldi. I used six 
at first and then I added a few more bits of hot cross bun in between but I cut them open added biscoff and then for the sauce I just got a tin of custard added about 200 mils of milk and about a teaspoon of vanilla poured that all over the buns added a few more bits of bun just in the gaps I thought we can fit some more in there and then added chocolate a bit of white sprinkles and some chunks of milk chocolate it was so so nice it was like sticky toffee it was so good i would definitely recommend making this if you've got lots of hot cross buns left over it looks a little bit burnt but it really wasn't i put it in the oven for about half an hour i think it was so yummy you've got to make it We're finally Hey, hey bro, I knew you when you could move for as soon as I start talking. I've just laid out all of my it must confuse him so much. Like, why are you who are you talking to? I've laid out all of the things that I bought from Home Bargains earlier, so I'm just gonna quickly go through them. I got one of these candles because this one smells really, really good. This wild jasmine by Wickford and Co. Really, this isn't about you, mate. Oh dear, this isn't going to go very well. And that was 2 99 which is an absolute bargain. I got some new lampshades. I bought some not long ago, planning to have them in here in the living room because these are the ones I've got up at the moment, which I really dislike. Um, but the ones that I got, I ended up using for my lamps in my bedroom. But I got some of these tiered ones. They were 9 99 so I've got two light fittings in here. So I'm going to put them on these light shades and hopefully it'll just look a little bit nice a little bit more neutral didn't want anything as blingy anymore i need to change these curtains as well because i'm not i'm not a big fan of them anymore either but yeah just went for cream they're linen you can get them in gray as well so i'm gonna put them up i spotted this this was like a real in a really random place it was like in with all the holiday stuff Mind you, I suppose you could take it as like a travel puzzle, couldn't you? Maybe that's what they were thinking. I just thought it was a really cute little jigsaw. What a nice little gift. It was only £1.49. Yeah, I guess you could put that in your um, carry-on or something to do on a plane, couldn't you? Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, mine are going to love doing that. Archie and Dylan loving a jigsaw at the moment. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Um, I got some of these, which I've been eyeing up for the longest time. And then I thought, actually, I could have really done with something like this the other day. How nice for summer. I'm going to make some little trifles, for sure. Um, I think you get four, yeah. And they do do one big one in there as well. But I wanted these mini ones. And then there's one for me. And there's one each for the kids. Have a look at them. Oh, they're so nice. Yeah, a pack of four, and then they were, how much were those? 9 99 for the four of them. I love them, perfect for if you're doing like a dinner party or something. I love anything to do little individual things in, so I can do some nice individual desserts in them. You right over there, chilling out. Nothing for you over here, unfortunately. Your ear's inside out. Don't know whether you want to put that straight. <laughs> What else have we got, Rudy? Oh, I got some of this. This hand wash. I just thought it looked quite fancy. I wanted one that just looked fancy but wasn't expensive. It's infused with essential oils, Rudy. And it was £1.49, I think that was. Yeah, £1.49. Thought that looks quite nice. It's going to last ages as well. Bergamot and amber wood. Lovely. I like getting these, I just think they are really good for cleaning the toilet, they just fizz up loads in your toilet bowl and then you can just go around with your toilet brush, give everything a good scrub and yeah, I'm, a, I'm always like getting them, I think they smell nice as well. Um, I've just got some simple age reverse, I don't think they do a lot of age reversing, not on me anyway, um, but I've just got some makeup wipes, I thought I'd try this as well because I've not tried this new Mrs Hinch outdoorable um 53 washes in there i'm looking forward to washing my bedding in that and then getting that out on the line when it's a dry day loving being able to hang the washing out lately um i got some croissants individually wrapped croissants i also got some of this which looks a bit funky doesn't it this bin bright just keeps your bins 
fresh and clean obviously as it says and that was £1.89 I also got some pegs because half of my pegs seem to have gone missing this happens every year like over the winter I don't know where half the pegs go so I always end up buying a new pack of pegs <laughs> um, and then I also got these which weren't from Home Bargains but um, I got them from a shop called Savers, which is similar to Home Bargains. But I really like this Child's Farm and I hadn't bought it for ages. But when I saw it in there, I thought, well, I'm going to try it again with Archie. Because obviously Archie has eczema and he always really likes a bubble bath. So I got this one that's for sensitive skin. Obviously, this is perfect for babies as well. Um, but I used to use this on him when he was a baby because... Like I say, because of his sensitive skin and this is just good for all of that. So I got him some of this bubble bath. Um, they also do, did like a um, swim water one. So if they've got chlorine on the skin, but I didn't get that one. And then I also got the rhubarb and custard two-in-one hair shampoo. <laughs> and then I just picked up this for Toby because he wanted some links. Having to buy all of this stuff now. I have a 12-year-old, all of the smelly stuff. He wants aftershave, he wants everything. So that is for him. And yeah, that was what I got. Oh, I did get a, some bathroom cleaner, but I've already been using that. Just some bathroom foam. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to have to put it all away. Okay, all of the Home Bargains items have been put away and I... Oh, I put up the new lampshades as well and I'm really pleased with them. I'll have to show them in another video because they look so much better. Yeah, me and Rudy are just watching some TV. Help me, Rudes. I've fallen down a bit of a rabbit hole with a Netflix programme. It's not a new one. I think it came out a few years ago. It's called The Teacher. It's got Sheridan Smith in it. It's all about a teacher that's been accused of sexual assault with a student and it's like finding out if she did it or not and it's been quite gripping and one of them where I'm gonna have to just keep watching it until I find out what happens but I am <laughs> definitely I planned to have an early night and it's just gone completely out the window because of this but I do need to switch it off I need to go and take my makeup off and we need to go to sleep don't we Rue we can't stay up so late but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video because i'm gonna leave it here give it a big thumbs up if you did and come back again for my next one bye everyone say bye Rue. say bye bye